Hello everybody. I'm going to teach you how to set up a template for grading in WebAssign. First, you need to create your WebAssign account and you need to enroll a class like you see in front. You should have a screen very similar to mine if you've done it properly. So, to do a template, what you do is you go under Assignments, Create, at least that's how I get there. There's other ways. And underneath assi Assignment Templates, there's Edit Templates. So I click on it. In here, I've created a few, my lab and my homework. Obviously, you have the new button to create a new template. Let's click on it. I'm going to name it Joe Quiz because I'm going to try to use quizzes on WebAssign now. So under category, I'm going to put under quiz. Submissions, how many times are you going to allow each student to try a question? Since it's a quiz, I'm going to bring that down to three trials per question. Obviously, you could do what you want. And all you got to do is read through all the options through here. Do you want question randomization? Do you want same values for all students? Do you want different values for each student? I like that one. Assignment. Display all the questions at once. Your choice. Or do you want to go one at a time? I like to give it all at once so the students can just answer the questions as they would like. The only thing I really focus on is right here, the hints and tutorials. I really get rid of the hints and tutorials prior to to the due date because I don't want after three or four submissions a student to have a chance to keep practicing keep trying to get the answer especially on a quiz on a homework I don't care how many times they practice or have hints because it's homework and that's what it's meant for but for a quiz a time quiz I do want to take these two learning tools off you may keep them again this is all up to you down here you can do points adjustments and tolerances to how close somebody is to an answer, especially if you assign a bunch of numerical answers and, of course, partial credits. I'm not going to mess with any of these. You can try these if you like. I'm usually happy with the way they're doing it. And so you click Save. And that's it. Now you should have an assignment template that you can choose. I now have three of them depending on whether I'm going to assign a lab, a quiz, or a homework. Thank you.